Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Mariana. Hi, teacher. Hi, Domingo. How are you guys? ¿Cómo está Domingo? ¿Cómo le fue ahora? Uh, hard worker. Uh, I working hard worker. Ok, it was a hard, a hard day. ¿Con día ocupado? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I. A resolver uh, you the foul the key. Okay. And the match. Ah, all right. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hi Roberto. Hi, John. You're sleepy, Domingo. No, wake up. <laughs> Solo me, me aparecen las setas. Barbaridad, Johnny. Why? It's Monday. Or this. <laughs> I know that's the reason, right? Oh no. All right. Hi, Vane. Hi, Gabi, Walter, Roberto, and of course, Mariano. Very nice. Hi, Vane. Hi, Vane. Johnny, everything okay in the school? Yes, teacher. Very nice. And you? I'm fine, good. Yeah, I'm working, tired. <laughs> In your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jobs? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah. I just finished a university class. Okay. I teach at UCA from six to eight. Oh. But it was good, it was a good class. Okay, you, you have... Money, 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 money. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Whatever, Johnny. You know how to <laughs> Very good. Hi. Hi, Walter. Ya lo vemos por ahí. Uy, parece que va a llover. Is it right? Good evening. No se ve viendo por ahí. No. Por acá, no. No. No, mm, no yet. No yet. Uh -huh. I think it's like it's going to rain here later, maybe. All right, very good. A ver, estaba revisando plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos con eso? Yo hoy me puse al día, Ticho. No había hecho nada. I, I finished the unit one. Ya, ya vi yo que ya terminó unit one ever igual, ¿verdad? Good evening, teacher. Right, I finished. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Domingo, usted también, ya vi. Walter, usted cómo va? I don't start teaching. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. All right. Acuérdense que esta semana tenemos examen, all right? Entonces, que no se les vaya acumulando. Porque si no se es como más más difícil. En el sentido que hay más cosas que hacer. All right, Roberto. Understood. Hola, Roberto, ¿usted cómo va? Hello teacher, I think I finished. Quiero ver. Okay, all right, very good guys. So we're gonna, I'm gonna keep on checking later para ver cómo vamos con los demás. All right, very good, Debbie's here. Vanessa ya la vemos por ahí, very nice. Okay guys, Gavita anda caminando todavía por ahí. <laughs> good evening, Gavi. Very nice, Debbie, I see you now. All right, so we're going to continue talking about the 
restaurant industry. All right, so that's what we have in a store for you for like two weeks more. Okay, so we are going to continue with unit two. All right, so let's start here. En unos cinco minutos, I'll take the attendance just to make sure that everybody is here. All right, so let's open up our books, guys, please. All right, so this is unit one, hold on. Okay, so this is unit two, the one that we begin today. And it says, I will be able to. Um, Debbie, can you please read where it says, I will be able to. I will be able to name a variety. Variety? Variety of pro procedures. Procedures? procedures? Procedures Excellent. going on in a different areas. Areas, yes. A restaurant. Very good, Debbie. Very good. Le tocaron palabras difíciles ahora. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, repeat variety. Sí, ahorita. Variety. 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 Thank you. Yes, very good. Y el otro sería procedures. All right, procedures and areas. All right, so very nice. So it says I will be able to name a variety of procedures going on in different areas of a restaurant. All right, so that's what we're going to be able to do. Number one, it says let's start. Ever, can you please read where it says let's start? Let's start. Our procedures in a restaurant important is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures. Very good. Fíjese, Ever, que no le, le voy a dejar pasar procedures, pero no le voy a dejar pasar esta, mire. Léamela. Affected. Ah, verdad que sí, affected. Very nice. All right, thank you, Ever. Hoy léamelo todo, ahí. <laughs> again, again, it's our procedures. Is okay. Procedures. Okay. In, in a restaurant, important is a customer's experience in the restaurant affected by procedures. Excellent. They were very nice. You sound very elegant. Very nice. Okay. So here it says, are procedures in a restaurant important? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? All right. And the, then we have number two. Ya vamos a regresar a number one. Number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. Eso déjelo ahí. All right. Son las nueve y casi diez. Voy a tomar a primera asistencia y luego regresamos to number one. Let's see, guys. Oh my goodness, today is Monday. Not many people in class today. Just give me a second. What did we have? Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. No. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Oh, Daniel is not in today. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Thank you. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present, teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus.
panel. All right. Hello. Okay, thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Y Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Then we have, permítame. Uh, 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 Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Oh, Doris is not in either. And we also have Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, hold on. One second. All right, perfect. So hopefully everybody else is going to join class later. Yeah, we're missing 10 people, oh my goodness. All right, so that's a lot of people not in class today. All right, very good. So we're going to continue then with this. Let's go back to number one. All right, here it says, are procedures in a restaurant important? What I want you to do individually right now i want you to explain or tell me if procedures in a restaurant are important do we understand the word procedures do you know what procedures are no teacher ah excuse me mariana procedimientos Procedimientos, that's right, yes, procedimientos, procedures. All right, entonces, ahí donde están escribiendo, papel o cuaderno, I want you to answer those two questions. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Si usted me dice yes, o no, solo quiero que me ponga yes, they are. Quiero que me ponga yes, they are, because, y se extiende. Si me pone no, they are not, igual, I want you to tell me why. And question number two, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes or not? Why or why not? Okay. Trabajando individualmente ahorita. Dejo de compartir. ¿Todos tienen ya su manual? Sí, teacher. Okay. All right. All right, working on that page, please. Teacher. Yes. Uh, repeat, please. Yes. And uh, the two questions. Sorry, Johnny, the two questions, they are here, Johnny. Question number yes. one. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, no, why or why not? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, no, or why not? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Dejo de compartir, les doy un par de minutitos, igual me van avisando when you're finished.
Okay, are we finished? You need more time? Yes. Okay. Para Linda y Carlos Eduardo, eh, estamos trabajando en la página, ahorita les digo, página 17, ejercicio 1, donde dice let's start. Y tienen dos preguntas ahí, hay que contestarlos y dar una razón por qué sí o por qué no. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, teacher. I finish, I believe. Perfect, Johnny, that's fine. Walter finish, Mariano, Domingo, Carlita, yes? Yes. All right, Walter, very nice. Ever finish too? Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. Debbie, Bunny, and Gabby finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, very nice. Uh, Vicky, Jorgito, Bismarck, Carlos Eduardo, Trini, and Linda. Finished? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. All right. So what are we going to do now? I think everybody's finished, or at least they are finishing right now. What we're going to do now is the following. You're not going to tell me. Wait. Just give me a second. You're not going to tell me right now your answers, okay? Right now, I'm going to send you to your groups right now. <laughs> Excuse me. And for example, if I'm working with Vane, we are going to talk about the question. And I will say, Vane, my uh, question number one said, uh, are procedures in a restaurant important? I think, I think, because this is my opinion, I think they are not, for example, right? I think they are not important because uh, it's a fast food restaurant, so they don't really need to follow any procedures. Everything they do, it's okay, and blah, blah, blah. And I will ask her, what do you think, Vane? And then Vane will tell me her answer, all right? And then question number two, I will tell her my answer and she will tell me my, her answer. And then we're going to make a conclusion together about our opinions. If in general, the opinion is yes, procedures are important because this, 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 and you give me some reasons about including Vanessa's point of view and my point of view for question number one and question number two. Do you understand what we're going to do? Yes, no, so, so. 
Hola, hola. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Seguro, María. All right, very good. De repente oigo así como muchos gritos por ahí. All right, so remember, the important thing is to talk about the questions and then together with your answer and my answer, we make one answer together and have it ready. All right, si Juan, si usted está trabajando en computadora, mejor tome nota de lo que dijo su compañero, de lo que usted dijo, haga una sola respuesta entre su compañero y usted. All right, porque cuando regresemos, usted me va a decir, eh, teacher, Vanessa, and, estaba trabajando con Gaby, por ejemplo, Vane and I believe that, bla, bla, bla. And then you tell me your reasons for question number one and question number two. Okay, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. Okay, I will send you to the groups right now then. Hoy vamos, nos vamos a ir en pareja. Solo va a haber un grupo, creo, con tres. About that, yeah. Solo va Gaby, Vane, and Walter en el grupo de tres. Los demás van en parejas. All right, guys, let's go. I'll give you 10 minutes. Hola, Vane.
Hi, Ay, Vane, ¿qué le pasó? Es que no sé qué tiene mi compu, pero cada vez que me manda así a la sala, no puedo, no escucho, no puedo hablar. ¿Será que se me puede volver a poner en la 1? Sí, sí, ahorita, ahorita. Algo, un problema de mi compu. Vaya, vale, vale. Gracias. Bueno. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Daniel. I was wondering where you were. Excuse me? I was wondering where you were. I'm like, where's Daniel? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 going to be I'm I'm going to arrive late. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. You're here. All right, Daniel, your classmates right now are working on this. I will show you. Hold on. Okay. They are working on page 17, exercise one. They are talking about whether 
to have procedures in a restaurant is important. Why or mm. why not? Okay, and question number two. If a customer experience in a restaurant is affected by procedures, why or okay. why not? Okay. Okay. En eso están trabajando. Lo que hicieron fue, primero los puse a pensar solitos. All right. They answer mm -hmm. the questions individually. After a certain time, I send them to the groups and now they are talking about everybody's responses. All right. Okay. Para okay. tener como un consolidado de una respuesta, de respuesta de la uno y de la dos. Okay, perfect. Okay. Se lo, lo voy a okay. agregar a un grupo. No sé qué tan avanzado van, pero usted participe. Okay, thank you, teacher. Gracias. Hi, Leti. Hi, Leti. Hi, teacher. Hi, Leti, ¿cómo está? I'm, I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Deme un segundito. All right, Leti, fíjense que ahorita los mandé a sus compañeros a una actividad y ya tienen un ratito de estar ahí. La voy a unir para que usted escuche y vea de lo que están hablando, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Thank you.
Hola, Claudita. Hola, Claudia. Good night, teacher. Evening, how are you? I, I, <laughs> as a man, I have my father sick y tengo que hacer algunas oraciones, por eso es que me tardé un poquito de entrar para disculpar. No, no tenga pena, ¿cómo sigue él? Ya, ahí, recuperándose, mañana tengo que llevarlo a, a la, al seguimiento y al hospital, ¿verdad? Así que, primero Dios, salgamos bien. Está bien, Claudia. Todo va a salir bien, ya verá. Gracias. Están okay. en los grupos pero, ahorita. Pero, ahorita sí, pero ahorita lo saco. Ok. All right. Thank, Thank you, you teacher. All right, guys, did you have enough time, Debbie, finish? Carlita, Trini, Walter, yes? Yes. Excellent, all right, very good. So let's listen to some of the groups. All right, let's just wait for everybody else to come back. All right, we're just waiting. Daniel, were you able to catch up on some of, some of the information? Mm, yes, teacher. Um, yes, I am. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's okay. All right, I guess everybody's back now. Igual se han ido incorporando los demás compañeros. All right. Es que eso es bueno, solo nos faltan un par. All right, so let's, let's hear. Group number one. I had Gabby, Vane, and Walter. So what did you guys come up with? Is it, do you think, do you guys think as a group, not individually anymore, but as a group, do you think to have procedures is important? Yes, and if yes, why or why not? Who's gonna yeah. ask? Yes. Oh. All right, why is it important then? To yes, a, to give a good service to the customers. Excuse me, a Gary, tell me again. To serve or give a proper uh, service to the customer. Okay. For okay. I gave an example. For example, uh, I gave an example. For example, uh, uh, the <laughs> chef <laughs> have to cook properly the food because he has to follow the receipts properly to then not serve raw or and cook food. All right, yes, for sure, very good, okay. Um, let's see, Vane or Walter, anything else that you came up with as a group? Why is it important to have procedures in a restaurant? Mm, yeah, you, need to, you need to have stable state to make everything correct. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. And this is the the form to satisfy the client. Ah, all right, Walter, I hear you. Um, Bunny, anything else that you want to add? Yes, because uh, they're important because the restaurant needs um, order cleaning and lots of complex for offer a good food and attention okay. in order to get more customers. Ah, all right. So if you notice that we're already talking about question number two, all right, is a customer experience affected by procedures? Yes, so for me, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, why? Walter, why do you think that a customer's experience is affected by procedures? The customers uh, give you a feedback and with that you can have better product service. Okay. Knowing the back and good 
things about your product. Okay, perfect, very good. All right. Gabi, Vane, anything else about customer's experience affected by procedures? No, yes. just what Walter said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, the same. All right, very good. All right, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Leti, oh, well, Leti just joined, but Mariano and Bismar, what did you guys came up with? What did you guys come up with as a group for question number one? Are procedures important? Yes or no? Why or why not? Um, okay. Um, yes. Um, because that what customer service depends on. Mm -hmm. uh, also are important for the business administration to be correct. Ah, oh, all right, Bismar. Yes, very nice. Okay. Uh, Mariano, what about question two? What do you guys think about the customer's experience? Do you, oops. Just to share the, the customer's experience, the, the procedures are very, are very important in the customer experience uh, because, oh, for example, uh, the time to wait a table, uh, the, the, the correct flavor of food, okay. uh, the different uh, procedures in the in the kitchen and the okay. restaurant. Okay. All right. Very good. In the, for the experience. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Let's go to group three. Carlos, Daniel, and Victoria. What can you guys tell me about number one? Are procedures important in a restaurant? Why? Or why not? Hey, teacher. Yes, Carlitos. Uh, and in my case, uh, in my, my opinion, mm -hmm. is the, it's very important because the, they alone better customer service mm -hmm. and improve food preparation. Okay. Uh, the specific for the, uh, the experience decline. Okay. All right. So in other words, um, Carlos, Victoria, and Daniel, because Daniel joined later, so you are also agreeing that a customer's experience is affected by procedures. Daniel, what do you say? Yes, teacher, the, the customer uh, experience is affected because the, if the restaurant don't have a, a good procedures, the, the, the customer is not satisfied with the service. It is a bad, bad experience for the for the customer and the customer don't go back to the to this restaurant. That's right, Daniel. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Was uh, group number four, Roberto and Vicky? Are procedures important? Okay, teacher, in our case, dance word to number one is yes, because the good experience that the client gets depends on that. Very good, Vicky. That was very nice. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I like that. Number two, uh -huh. Roberto. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Roberto, tell us about number two. Okay, yes, because can affect positively or negatively. It, it all depends on the attention provided. And although it takes an orderly process, we think. All right, yes, very good. So with that, uh, the attention provided. Yes, very good, Roberto. Nice, I like it, very nice. Let's see, group five, we had Debbie and Linda. What did you girls come up with with question one and question two? Linda, la escucho bien lejos, Linda. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, the number one or yes, please, number one. It's okay. Uh, it's important to keep the order and the work flows to give a good service. All right, Linda, very good, thank you. What about Debbie? 
the second. Yes, because uh, it's important the customer experience uh, because uh, when they don't follow the procedures, uh, don't have a good experience and a good place to have a clear definition of what customer service is. Wow, nice, Debbie. Okay. Very good. Y mire, yo le sale la palabra super bien, procedures. Very <laughs> good, Debbie. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. All right. Ever and Johnny, ustedes han hecho algo para trabajar juntos este módulo, Johnny and Ever. No. A ver, es el destino. El carajo drink has to be done. Carajo soda team. <laughs> Yeah, All right, what do you guys think about question one and question two? Who starts? I start. Um, we think about this and we believe it's important to provide better customer service and provide better quality food. And we think too, uh, it's important to the continuous improve process. And um, that's it. So ES, right. Yes, thank you. Okay, Johnny. Uh, the second question. Yes, it is. The, the experience in the customers is affect for the procedures. Uh, for example, uh, there there are a pro, there are a procedures uh, to clean the floor if a client see the floor is sucio i don't know dirty dirty uh-huh dirty yes dirty dirty the client uh, will say I don't come back. And then, and then the procedures uh, from the from the cleaning to the cook cook the food. It's very important for me or for the customers right. in a restaurant. All right, very nice. Thank you. Let's see, Jorge and Domingo, what do you guys come up with? Y luego tenemos Carlita and Trini. Yes, teacher. Um, the important uh, procedures uh, take customer order to have a good management of the restaurant. Um, it's important um serve the food for service a customers all right jorge yes very good okay domingo anything else uh teacher uh yes uh the procedures affect the customer because some are uh como se dice, uncomfortable 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 yeah, uncomfortable. Incomodo. Uncomfortable. Incomodo. Uncomfortable. Ah, yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see. Trini and Carlita. Uh, number one, yes, because you can see the control that you have in their service provided by the restaurant. Oh, very good, Trini. Nice. Yes. The, second, um, the, the number two teacher uh, because of uh, um, our service and attention, uh, attention to the customer mm -hmm. if there is no good procedures can affect the restaurant a little uh, um, for example, have a good procedure so that the customer food is one time on the table. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you, 
Carlita. Very nice, guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah, very good. Now, let me ask you a question in general. All right. Acuérdense si pueden sentar sus camaritas mucho que mejor. All right. Have you ever been to any restaurant? No vamos a mencionar nombres ahora, but just think about it, okay? Have you ever been to a restaurant where you have felt uncomfortable, where you have felt that you're not going back? where you have felt that there are no procedures whatsoever in that restaurant. Has that ever happened to you? Never? You have always gone to a restaurant and the food is on time, it's, the place is clean, the order is right, um, everything is perfect. Yes? Oh, cool. I like that. Gabby says, yeah. All right, Carlito was saying yes. Okay. And the rest of you guys? You have never had a bad experience in a restaurant? I have a bad experience. It's not, it's not the first time when I, when I go. I, I don't know what happened in this specific case. Okay. I go to my uncle's is is coming from USA uh -huh. and he, he is very, I don't know, educated. Educated? Educated, yes. In this day, the, the waiters, I don't know what happened, uh, but, uh, but look for my, for my, for my uncle. <laughs> well, service. No, no, don't like it to my uncle. In the other, in the other, uh, Times when I go to my mother, to my wife, it's, it's perfect. All but right. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know what happened in this specific, specific day when I when I go to my uncle. <laughs> oh my goodness! Now after that experience, Daniel, have you gone back to the same place, or you have never gone back again? No, I go back. I, I go back to the, to okay. the same place. And everything yeah, was fine. <laughs> and everything, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> because, you have the food, because the food is good. Uh -huh. The food is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Anybody else? No bad experiences in any restaurant, no? I had a bad experience. What happened, Debbie? Tell us. Después con compañero que dijo algo, ajá. I had a bad experience this weekend. Oh, oh we, no! <laughs> yes. We buy um uh food in Puerto Marisco. Okay. And the el recipiente se dice the recipient. ¿Cómo se dice no, el recipiente? Yeah, the, uh, the container. The container. The container. The container. Um. I can't. How se dice? Venía la mitad. Uh, yeah. The container was half half full. Half full, uh, half full. And we called and, uh, and, ¿cómo se dice pusimos la queja? <laughs> yeah, you complained. You complained about it, okay. You yes. made a complaint, okay. Yes. And what happened? Did they send you more food? Oh no, you're still waiting. <laughs> well, still waiting, but, Oh no! <laughs> they call uh -huh. and say the the food is. ¿Cómo se dice está pesado? La eh, la pesan. Ah, it's weighted. Oh, it's weighted. Uh huh. Ah, uh, uh, weighted. Teacher, I think uh -huh. to the to the to the guy of. I don't know, uh, delivery is uh, the, 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 the guy, how hungry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <And the food. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine? Aha, uh -huh, Debian said, so they said that the food is weighted, and then? Uh, my husband will come back the the place and uh -huh. se lo pesaron. 
<laughs> they waited, uh -huh. They were. Eh, pesaba como eh, no sé cuántas onzas menos. Oh, less ounces. Pero era, era, pero era notorio la diferencia de. Claro. Era, All right. Ah, pues yeah, el chico del delivery tenía hambre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Debbie. All right. Okay. Okay. I understand. Very good. But you know what? It's good that your husband went and they realized that it was less food. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Once time, I wait many times for my food. And when I complain, they give me free fruit. <laughs> while waiting oh okay all right yes all right very good let and then ever wait uh what teacher what question no the question well i was asking if you have ever had a bad experience in a restaurant have you ever oh, had a bad experience in yes, a they... Mm, no, in some no, no teacher, and um, and some restaurant the waiters are killed in the presentation could be influenced. For example, Ikatu Cafe uh, have a uh, a good attention about the the, the customers. Okay. Mm, uh, for a moment, I don't have an. Uh, about the experience. Okay, very good. Because I hate uh, when the uh, when the cost. I hate it when when the wasters have a uh, bad uh, face uh, <laughs> when the customer are is in, is in, is deli deli. ¿Cómo se dice deli? What do they say? Delicado. Like um. I don't know. Uh, uy, se me fue la palabra. I don't know, but let me think about it, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't remember uh -huh. the word right okay. now, but yeah. Okay. Okay, Letty, very good. Yes. Let's see, Ever, you had, uh, you were gonna say something, I think. Uh, teacher, uh, I think I remember some time and we are going to, with my family, to the, the how do you say grappa teacher grappa 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 yes Estamos. yes in the Estamos. we were in and uh, how una grappa una grappa this is it staples in, inside inside in the food oh. in the uh, in Chinese food and uh, this comida china in the commission. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, Ever. Oh my one great phantom I I can see that in time, no? And when I see that in in, in I I say that to the to the, to the waiters that like, hey please come on here and you just get the oh yeah sorry putting more food in the in the in the table but no tenía muchas ganas de seguir comiendo después. Of course, no pero, pero, ah, pues, oh. pero, pero sí, so that is, that, that would be, that was a very, very bad experience. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine ever. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes, was horrible. Yes. Imagínese, o sea, gracias a Dios que la vio y no se la comió. A tiempo. Adiós, porque hoy qué es eso que brilla. Ah, quizás ahora ya brillan los tallarines, dije. Pero no, no, voy viviendo el caso de la pita, sí. Y, y, y la gente está nada ahí, pero. Oh, pero hasta ahí hoy yo no, no volví a visitar ese lugar. Oh my goodness, Ever, yes. All right, so yeah, those are bad experiences that we may face in a restaurant. Maybe because they lack of some safety procedures, because when we talk about procedures, hablamos de diferente tipo de procedures, all right? We can talk about safety procedures, 
We can talk about food procedures. We can talk about cleaning procedures, como decía Johnny, right? And if you see the, the, the floor that is not clean, all right, you kind of feel like, okay, so what's going on here? Nobody cleans up. So when we talk about procedures, we have different kinds of procedures, okay? Ya vamos a hacer una lectura about that. Solo déjenme pasar la asistencia de la segunda hora. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Trini? All right. Carlos Eduardo Vivas. Thank you, Trini. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Tony Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Linda Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Uh, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. No, y Victoria, perdón, Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Perdón, Victoria. Present. Thank you, Victoria. Y luego Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. She's not in. Good, guys, thank you. Okay, I'm going to share this with you. All right, so here we have procedures in a restaurant. Pueden ver, verdad? Can you guys see? Yep. All right. Yes, All right. So here we have procedures in a restaurant. It says, ensure all processes are in writing. All right. Ahora, yo sé que estamos hablando sobre restaurantes y la industria de restaurantes, pero acuérdense que todo lleva un proceso, todo lleva un procedimiento. All right. So here we're talking. Obviamente seguimos like, enfocándolo en restaurantes, pero this es importante para you to know. Ensure all processes are in writing. Ok. Usted solo se lo dice a alguien y de repente they forget. All right. So they need to have, they need to be written. Ok. Veamos aquí. Bismar, can you please read the first point? Yes. Uh, writing procedure. Uh, will also help keep good quality employees. Quality employees, um, I can see. You quality can employees uh, work, uh, work for a business that uh, they disorganize, organize, serious about it, what they do and to provide, uh, on how they can be successful Successful in their job. All right, thank you. Mariano, continue with the, the uh, two more. Uh, some suggested writing operating procedures for restaurants include mm -hmm. kitchen procedures, including food safety. All right, uh, continue, Mariano. Dining room procedures, reservation, handling. All right, very good, thank you. Okay, so here what they are telling you, on the topic it says ensure. Do you understand the word ensure? Asegurarse. Asegurar, ajá, asegurar que todos los procesos estén qué? Por escritos. Escritos, right, very good, okay. La primera palabra no es writing, es written. 
All right, written procedures. O sea, los procedimientos escritos. Written procedures will also help keep good quality employees. Quality employees want to work for a business that is organized, serious about what they do, and that provides direction on how they can be successful in their jobs, all right? So when we talk about procedures, we're not only talking the, about the benefits for the customer, we're talking for the benefits of everybody, the, the business, the restaurant, the employees, the customers, everybody. All right. Si usted trabaja en una empresa donde hay buenos procesos o procedimientos, you feel good. All right. Pero si de repente ni el jefe sabe lo que le está diciendo, ¿cómo se siente usted? How do you feel, guys? It's concerted. In short, teacher. I'm sure confused. O sea, es así como yendo, ¿qué hago? All right. Because you don't know what to do. All right, so that's why procedures are important. Some suggested, the, yes? Teacher, and the impressions and the, the company certificate is uh -huh. a, cert, a procedures, a, a, is, is, um, como it says, uh, it's a procedures in, in order, digamos, or, yeah, that the procedures are established. Yes, mm -hmm. and organized. Very good, Domingo. Okay. Now, retomando the restaurant industry. It says some suggested written operating procedures for restaurants include, obviamente, que no les estoy dando todos, ¿verdad? Pero uno podría ser kitchen procedures. All right. Yes, it's very important, including food safety. Eso es lo que abarcaría lo que le pasó a Ever. All right, food safety. I know yeah, food safety. All right, how is going to have grapas in the food? <laughs> I mean, that's not possible, all right? Now, the other one, dining room procedures. All right, do you understand dining room? When I see dining room procedures, do you understand? Me no. Okay. It's, it's, about, it's about the procedures in the... In the okay, the dining room is where 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 the client takes the food. That's right. Yes. Yes. All okay. right. Yes. The, the procedure is uh, keep a uh, put number to each table. Mm -hmm. For example. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mean, um, two cup of water for the um, table number two, number right. four. Yes. I don't know. Yes. El, okay. Very good, Daniel. Thank you. The dining room is donde usted llega y se sienta con su familia, con quien esté ahí, ¿verdad? Su amigo, su amiga, quien sea. All right. That's the dining room. Y debe, debe de tener procedures. All right. Lo que dice Daniel. Imagínese que si no tiene, por ejemplo, por lo general tienen numerito las mesas. All right. O ellos saben, no, no tiene ahí a la vista, pero ellos, they know it. Pero si de repente Roberto llega con su familia y le están cobrando lo que consumió Johnny, ahora sí es menos, más chévere, right? But if it's more, all right, it's like, like a problem, right? So you have to have procedures in the dining room to clean the tables y ahora sanitizar las mesas, all right, because of COVID-19. And also you have to have procedures on reservation handling. Ahora, este de reservation handling, Maybe it doesn't happen in fast food restaurants, all right? Maybe it happens in other types of restaurants, all right? When you have a reservation, imagínese que usted hace una reservación en un eh, X restaurante y Vanessa va con toda su familia y de repente le dicen, ah, oh, no, mire, I'm sorry, there's no reservation for Vanessa Reyes. Oh, what is Vanessa going to do with her whole family? Hay como 30 gente esperando, ¿verdad, Vanessa? Right, so she's gonna, I mean, that's gonna be a problem to have that. So as a restaurant, they need to have procedures that they follow, okay? In different areas, of course. Let's continue with this. Oops. All right. Teacher. Hola. What is the difference between writing and reading? 
writing and written. Writing. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa que, um, ¿cómo le explico? Writing es el verbo y written es como la forma que usted dice, esto está así, um, esto está escrito. Es como la, la voz pasiva, all right, de lo que usted quiere decir. All right. Eh, ¿Cuándo lo usaré? Eh, allá por otro rato. <laughs> Maybe in advance, I think you saw it and you will see it. Okay. All right. Wow. Pero lo que pasa yeah. que también funciona como, como un adjetivo. All right. Entonces va a depender, Johnny, de cómo lo está usando en la oración. Pero que lo va a ver, no, Johnny, lo va a ver, se lo prometo. Thank you. All right. Ahorita solo déjeme hacerse lo más grande para que lo podamos leer bien. Okay. A ver, voluntarios para leer, please. I need volunteers. Yes, Mariano. Mariano, pero ya me leí un poquito. A ver, someone else? Me teacher. Thank me you. teacher. And let me. All right. So, Linda, usted me lee el primer... Um, Lo que le voy a enseñar ahorita y luego va Leti. All right. Yes, Linda. Ahorita, permítame. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Pros, produce easy to read how to guide. Uh -huh. Said procedure may help with safety and loss prevention within your restaurant. Restaurant may have less risk of injury, food sanitation issues, and Dave issues is employees have an improved set of procedure to follow instead of lady letting the employees create their own. Continue. Okay, for example, by a standard, a standardizing, standardizing. And, and standardizing mm -hmm. and creating a greeting process on the proper way to handle and cook poultry, poultry, poultry. okay, poultry or meat in your restaurant. You can reduce the risk of food or Ill, Ill In fact, many health departments requ require records showing these proce processes and the testing of equipment, temper temperature that are holding potentially. Ah, esa no sé cómo se dice. Hazardous. Hazardous food items. Very good. Thank you. Ya vamos a ver vocabulario. No se preocupen. A ver, continue, Leti, please. The more organized your restaurant is with written operating procedures, procedures, click Checklist and how to guide the more organized you staff and your restaurant will run. Consistency and efficient, efficiently are key important factor to a successful restaurant. This all start with a good procedural system by providing these tools to your staff, your staff will have a clear expectation of what is expected and will help minimize the mistakes or inconsciences that, that tend to happen when written documentation is not provided. Thank you, very good. All right, very nice. Veamos aquí. Voy a leer la primera otra vez. Revisamos vocabulario y pronunciación. All right. Set procedures. 
may help with safety and loss prevention within your restaurant. Restaurants may have less risk of injury, food sanitation issues, and theft issues if employees have an approved set of procedures to follow instead of letting the employees create their own. Nada ahí, todo lo entendemos super bien. Or there is some what does theft. Teacher. What does theft mean? Theft mm. is uh, the robo. Problemas de robo. Instead of letting theft. Theft issues, all right. Another one? Uh, instead of letting. Instead of letting the employees. En lugar de dejar que los eh, empleados crean ah, su propio. Ah, sus propios. Mm -hmm. oh, ok. Sus propios procedimientos. Exacto. Sus propios procesos. Exacto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Todo bien? ¿Los demás estamos bien with the vocabulary and pronunciation? Ok, super. Nice. All right, let's continue then here. Just give me what. Denme un segundito, por favor. Si gustan, denme eh, un segundito más largo y eh, lean el segundo párrafo ahí y tomen nota de algún vocabulario. Ya, ya ven. Sorry, guys. Denme un segundo. Denme un segundo. Sorry guys, go on here. All right, I'm sorry. So here we have number two, for example, by standardizing and creating a written process on the proper way to handle and cook poultry or meat in your restaurant, you can reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses. In fact, many health departments require records showing these processes and the testing of equipment temperature, et cetera, that are holding potentially hazardous food items. Nada ahí, todo bien? Eh, donde di, where, where the, uh, this say uh, you can reduce the risk of food born illnesses. Illnesses. Where is uh, born in, born es como quemado, verdad? Sí, es como, Las enfermedades que le dan a uno de dolor de estómago, en otras palabras. Ah, <laughs> uh, ok. Sí, porque se cocina bien a uh, cook for three and meat in your restaurant. Ajá, okay. ajá. Ok, ok. Yes, understood. Thank you. Yes, very nice. The, the, the meaning of illnesses? Oh, only the meaning of the, the word illnesses? It's, it's enfermedades, ever. Oh, enfermedades. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. De hecho, you can, you, can, um, you can say, for example, ill or sick. Si usted se siente enfermo, se dice, I feel sick or I feel okay. ill. Cualquiera de las dos. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else? What does this mean? Hazard. Ah. Eh, Como peligroso. Okay. 
Teacher, can you repeat the standard? Vane, I cannot hear you. The pronunciation of standard, standard typing. Ah, standardizing, standardizing. Standardizing. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Viene de estándar. All right, standardizing. Very good. Do you guys, nadie me ha preguntado de poultry. ¿Conocen esa palabra? Pío, pío, pollo. Okay. All right. Like, es, po es, po es pollo, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, carne de ave. Carne de ave ah. o, 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 o... Sí, carne de ave. Ajá. Ok. All ok. Right. okay. Eh, Rick. Which one, Trini? Risk. Ah, risk, riesgo. Risk, uh, uh -huh. Risk, okay. And burning illnesses. Ajá. Evan, ¿se acuerda que le dije que era? Sorry, teacher. El, el, el foodborne illnesses. Foodborne? Ajá, foodborne illnesses. illnesses. Es como. Do, eh, Enfermedades gastrointestinales ah, sí, sí, sí. de la pancita. <risa> Thank you. Ajá, por los alimentos, ¿verdad? Enfermedades del, pues, que le puede dar una mala digestión o diarrea o something. All right. All right. To more organize your restaurant is, sorry, the more organized your restaurant is with written operating procedures checklist and how to guide the more organized your staff and your restaurant will run all right consistency and efficiency are key important factors to a successful restaurant these all start with a good procedural system by providing these tools to your staff your staff will have a clear expectation of what is expected and it will help minimize the mistakes or inconsistencies that tend to happen when written documentation is not provided. All right. Questions about this vocabulary, guys? No? Successful. Um, a que sea un éxito su restaurante en este caso, Trini. Thank you. Yep. And with these mistakes. Uh, Bismar, ¿dónde? Perdone. Um, help, help minimize. Ah, the mistakes, mistakes, errores. Error. Eh, uh, perdón, error. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Very good. Anything else? Teacher, that then to happen? Sorry? Uh, that tend to happen. Ten, uh -huh. ten? Que tienden a pasar o que tienden oh, a suceder. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No? All right. Okay. Providing teacher. Provide, <laughs> providing. Uh, Provee. Um, okay. All right. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Now, guys, it's important. Y yo les decía, me recuerdo que les comenté el primer día de clase de este módulo. Son cinco semanas y la unidad dos la vemos durante dos semanas con diferentes temáticas, obviamente. Mucha lectura. All right. Entonces, sí es importante que usted esté eh, activo en la lectura. A lo que me refiero es que siempre que encuentre palabras que no entendamos, all right, sí es importante que usted pregunte. Because it's part of your process, ok? Que no le dé pena ya a esta altura, no le puede dar pena estar preguntando, all right, porque es parte de su proceso. No se quede con la duda. Aquí lo averiguamos, ¿verdad? Entre todos y todas. Yes, it's important for you to take notes on that reading. Uh, de repente ya las lecturas no son como, ah, sí, my daily routine, I wake up at five in the morning, I take a shower, I have breakfast. Eso ya es, lo dejó en el básico. All right, si se fija, las lecturas son así. 
Ahora es como la que acabo de compartir, de repente es como, mm, ok, entonces sí es importante que usted vaya como, como viendo que eso va a suceder con el intermedio y no se diga con el avanzado. All right. Los que vienen de módulos anteriores han visto, eh, digamos que hay un, hay diferencia entre los libros o manuales del básico, de los básicos, que lo el intermedio. Hay como menos, menos información, voy a decir así, gramatical, porque en teoría we have to speak more. All right. Entonces, por eso siempre vamos a hacer la dinámica de, yo les doy preguntas, las analizan individual, luego la analizan en grupo, participan en grupo, all right, y luego venimos acá y comentamos. Is you doing the talking, all right? Is you doing the reading? Is you asking questions? Pero si usted se queda con la duda de mejor no pregunto porque me da pena o estoy ahí pero estoy haciendo otra cosa, yo sé que nos pasa, ¿verdad? Y, y hay situaciones eh, pues que, que, que suceden así, pero tratemos de estar por ahí siempre escuchando, participando, ¿verdad? Porque es parte de su proceso. All right, yes, guys. Entonces sí es sumamente importante que ustedes eh, escuchen, pregunten, lean, participen. Entre más hablan, mejor. Yo feliz. All right, porque si no hablo yo, yo no los aburro. <ríe> All right, guys, very good. So, questions about the reading. Nos quedó clara esa lectura. Entendimos lo que decía la lectura. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, a ver, necesito un voluntario o voluntario, of course. Me. Who said me? Gabby. Ah, oh, Gabby, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Gabby. In your own words, Gabby, tell me what the, um, the article that I presented told you. What did you, what do you remember? that the article said, what we just read, Gabby. That if we have a person or co-workers, we have to give an really um, written instruction to do things right, because they will know how to do or what to do in unexpected, in unexpected situations. For example, any TIF issues, or probably um, with a good, uh, with a good, Uh, when they're cooking or something like that, so they they have to know how to do it right. All right. That's all. Yeah, and, and also they're not really talking about someone coming in to like steal your things, but within the employees, some sometimes that happens, right? That people are stealing from the same company or from the same co-workers, right? So you need to know and you need to understand what the procedures are. Very good, Gaby. Thank you. All right, someone else. A ver, un chico. Valiente. Chicos valientes. Ajá. Uh -huh. No hay chicos valientes ahora. Oh, wow. Me, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, let's go to, <laughs> let go to defend their dead. Vamos a defender a los hombres. Sí, va. So, male versus female, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A ver, Daniel. <laughs> So, in your own words, Daniel, what can you tell me what you read? What did you understand about what we just read? Okay, uh, I understand what uh, procedures are important for the, for the, in this case, for restaurant, mm -hmm. because the procedures is, is the, how say, the instruction for the, for the employee. Who's, how how to do for example how to cook the the, the meat poultry uh, how many how many temperature is not too 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 hot is not too too cold right. this is this is uh, what I I understand very good Daniel excellent thank you all right anybody else. Anybody else that wants to participate to tell me what you understood about the reading? Me, teacher. Yes, Leti. Okay. Um, have a good... Uh, have a good... Uh, procedures mm -hmm. uh, in a restaurant in whatever company uh, 
or in business, uh, will uh, it's important to have a good procedure in the more important the restaurant because it's food. Right. Uh, it has a it has um, a security that the person have to consume uh, that 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 food because uh, that will be prevent the uh, whatever illness illnesses illnesses yes uh, the whatever person and will um, maybe will have a uh, maybe a uh, will uh, save uh, a life maybe mm -hmm. yes of course Levi, yes because uh -huh. all right uh, to buy uh, it's not recommend it's not recommended you to buy whatever food in whatever restaurant because uh, maybe uh, and we have the, the 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 place maybe they, they have to clean to clean and um, the the presentation of the of the the person will we will be it's important the presentation because it imagine the the business. That's right. That's the image of the business. That's right, Pepe. Very nice. Thank you. A ver, have you guys ever been food poisoned? Do you understand what food poisoned is? Yeah, Gabby knows. Walter, do you know what food poisoning is? Veneno. Uh -huh. I'm trying, um, not poison, but how do you say crudo? Ah, or like, uh, like a, a heartburn, all right? Yes, all right. Yes. Ahora, when we say food poisoning, no es que realmente le pusieron veneno a su comida, ¿verdad? Sino que... Es una... es intoxicado. Yeah, es intoxic in in intoxicado. intoxicado. Right. So some people has had that before. And maybe it's because they didn't follow the procedures. Um, two, three years ago, before pandemic, I had a friend and she went to a nice restaurant and she ate a fish, all right? So the fish was delicious, but after she finished eating the fish, she had, she felt food poisoned, all right? And she was like throwing up and vomiting and she was swallowing hinchada and it was like horrible, all right? And it was because the fish was not cooked properly, all right? So maybe the person, the chef, didn't follow the procedures, didn't follow the right temperature, didn't do all the steps to cook the fish, all right? In other countries, <laughs> uh, this could have been, the, this restaurant could have been sued. Do you know what sued is? Cuando usted va y... Ajá. Demanda. Uh -huh, una demanda. Una demanda. Una demanda, right? Because she was sick. She had to go to the hospital. All right. She was throwing up and throwing up and throwing up, and it was horrible. Y le pusieron suero y de toda la pobre. All right. But in El Salvador, I don't know. <laughs> All right. But por eso decía lo que estábamos leyendo. Y se los voy a poner aquí otra vez. Just give me a second. Uh, En El Salvador le dicen, le voy a regalar un platito de, de fruta. Sí, lo que le dijeron a, lo que le dijeron a él, le dieron más. Le dieron más, más, más. Dice, eh, evitar, ¿cómo se dice? Evitar. Avoid, avoid. Avoid acid, entonces, yes. Eh, proceso. Yes, y miren lo que dice aquí. Uh, aquí vamos, dice. Avoid. You can reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses. In fact, de hecho... Many health departments, muchos departamentos de salud requieren récord, all right, que demuestre los procesos cuando se está ensayando, ni siquiera es como ya está la comida servida, sino que hay un ensayo y error, ¿verdad? Pero no con el cliente, all right, so you have to be very careful, but you know, ¿saben lo que decía Daniel? All right, oops. Mire, le voy a dar otro pescadito, pero para qué lo quiero si está crudo. All right, so I'm going to get all my family sick. All right, yes. Uh, as you know, 
the close the restaurant. Yes, yeah, they close the restaurant. Ya visto Está Mr. Dona. Ya, yeah, all right. Uy. All right, yes. Es verdad, so es cierto. Be careful. All right. Está ya por el parque San José, lo sé. <laughs> yes, all right, yes. All right, so many restaurants, all right, they are closed because it's food poisoning for everybody. So the procedures are not good. All right, they are not following procedures. Okay. Very good, guys. Let's see. Let's continue. Vámonos de regreso al manual. All right, here it says number two, number the steps a waiter follows. Hoy hablamos ya no solo de los procedures of a restaurant in general, but we're talking about the steps a waiter, hombre y waitress, mujer, to take and serve an order. All right, now we have this here. Vamos a trabajar. In number two, all right, you have to number the steps. One, two, three, four, five. When you finish, you're going to work on number three. Aquí dice use your dictionary, pero no quiero que ocupe ni diccionario ni Google Translation, nada. It's you, all right? Use your brain for the meaning of the new words. Handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. Quiero que me definan con sus propias palabras qué es handle, qué es confirm, qué es payment, greeting, and notify. Si ninguno de, en el grupo sabe, déjelo en blanco. No pasa nada. Lo vemos aquí. All right. Let's go to the groups right now, guys. Nos vamos a los grupos otra vez. Let's go. Trini, ¿en qué grupo estaba, Trini? Con Carla. Ever, ¿en qué grupo estaba Ever? Hola, teacher. Estaba con Johnny. Ah, sí, es cierto. <risa> ¿Y yo de dónde? Sí, se me fue el Inter por un momento y vi que ya habían entrado. Pero Johnny no está. Yo creo que se le ha ido la Inter a él también. Lo voy a sí, mandar. O sea... No sé, es que de repente empezó a fallar y cambié datos y ya me logró conectar otra vez. Y uh -huh. Sí. Porque el, el Inter me falló de repente. Si gusta, permítame. Claudita, ¿puede participar en esta actividad o todavía no, Claudita? Sí, teacher. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Entonces, Claudia y Ever, los voy a mandar a la sala 6 y si yo ni entra, lo mando ahí hoy. Ok, okay teacher. All right, guys, thank you. Help me, teacher.
Johnny, ¿qué le pasó? Y me salí. <risa> <risa> o cuando me iba para allá, de repente se salió. No, qué barbaridad, Johnny. Ahorita lo mando con Ever, permítame. Vale. Vaya. Hola Leti. Hi teacher, um, in, in a moment I have a problem with internet. Okay, all right, I'm gonna send you to your group right now. Where were you, which sala? Whatever teacher. Ah, okay. No sabe ninguna Leti. Uh, for a moment, no. Ah, okay, ahorita. Ahorita le te también. Vaya, le sí, ahorita ya la no maté. ¿No le salió a Leti? Se me borró rápido. <risa> ahorita vaya, mire ahora thank you welcome, you're welcome
Teacher, my internet is failing. Ah, okay. Can you add? Uh, can you add uh, a game with uh, my group? Yes, of course. Please. Yes, right now. Thank you. You're welcome, Letty.
All right, let's see. Let's work on the exercise two. Number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve orders. All right, so what would be number one? Greet the customer. Greet the customer, yes, Linda, thank you. What about number two? See the customer. Greet the customer, yes, Bonnie, very nice. Number three? Take customer order. Take customer's order, very good. Number four? Confirm the order. Confirm the order. The last one? Handle the food. Correctly. Handle the food correctly, right? Let's see. And um, oh no, the last, that would be number five. And number six? Serve the, 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 the food. food. All right, very good. Okay, so tomorrow when we begin a class, we are going to start with this exercise, okay? Uh, exercise number three for tomorrow. I'm going to take the attendance so you guys can go rest. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present, teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramírez. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. I'm here. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present, teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present, teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Baca Santa María. Present, teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, so, hoy se queda un ratito Debbie, mañana domingo, uh, y el miércoles ever. Very good. All right, thank you guys, have a good night. Si no me han trabajado en la plataforma, por favor, pónganse a trabajar en eso, porque ya está, la, ya están chineando, por decirlo así, la unidad dura. All right, guys, bye ever, good night, bye guys. Mm -hmm. Bye, good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. have a nice bye. night. Hi, Debbie. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. Debbie, I'm, um, do you have any questions about the topics we have studied, about any questions whatsoever about English, anything that you want me to help you with? Mm, really not teacher okay i'm fine yes you're fine everything is fine <laughs> yes all right very good debbie this is the first time you are taking classes with us with yes all right in the program see in the program yes all right very good okay all right so this is all new for you right <laughs> yes all right, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? Debbie logró trabajar, sí, ¿verdad? Yo creo que sí. Yes, yeah, ya, yeah. ya la completé la semana. Sí, ¿verdad? All right, yes, very good. Okay. Bueno, cualquier cosa, si tiene dificultad en algo, igual eh, me lo hace saber y con mucho gusto yo le ayudo. Igual esta semana es de trabajar las tareas que están ahí en la plataforma y tienen un examencito por ahí. Entonces, eso también se tiene que hacer. Pero igual, acuérdense que son dos semanas con la unidad 2, ¿verdad? Y luego la unidad 3, que sería una semana antes de vacación. Y ya regresamos con la última semana después de vacación. All right. Okay. ¿Y, el, ¿Y el examen hay que hacerlo hasta que terminemos la semana? Eh, fíjense que sí. De hecho, uh, la idea es hacerlo al final de la semana. 
Solo ahorita no recuerdo bien, de mi mañana les voy a comentar a todos. Si nos toca examen después, o sea, sí sé que es en la 2, pero no sé si es en la primera semana de la 2 o la segunda semana de la 2. Ah, okay. pero, pero que es en la 2, es en la 2. <risa> pero voy a sí, porque me imagino que nos pueden salir cosas que estemos viendo ahorita. Ah, entonces. Ajá. Pero sí, la al, principio no, al principio no le hallaba mucho a la plataforma, pero ya le hallé. Pero ya le halló. <risa> sí, súper bien. Bueno, Debbie, entonces, si you don't have any more questions... No, estamos bien entonces cualquier cosa que estamos oye ok thank you very good Debbie have a good night I'll see you tomorrow have a good night you too bye